guys, welcome back. Marcus is here with me, but we got our friends over here. If you haven't seen by the diamond or anything, but uh, we're gonna do this baseball challenge, uh, batting practice. Basically, it's a scoring process. Basically, whoever hits the most gets the most hits, these strikeouts, things like that. We're gonna figure all that out. We'll keep it tracked, and uh, whoever comes up with the best outcome wins. <laughs> Basically the rules are, the person with the most hits before they get two outs wins the game. And the bit way that you get get a hit is that you have to pull it on the right side of the field, or the left side of the field I should say if you're a righty, and if you're a lefty, which we didn't have any, you put on the right side of the field. If you hit a ball opposite position, or real hitter called oppo, it's a foul ball. Basically you want to get as many hits as possible before you get two outs, and you get outs by rounding out, flying out, lining out. So. The pitcher, whoever's pitching to you, everyone needs to pitch to you, one at bat, so you either just get an out, or get a hit, or walk. Each pitcher gets to decide how many infielders you want. So we only had two or three people, so you could say I want two outfielders, or I want two infielders. Or you do one and one, because sometimes the cameraman weren't able to field while we're filming. Now let's say the guy gets a base hit, and there's no infielder, and it's a ground ball. If no one gets it, it's still a hit. So you'll see that in a few of the clips where someone might get a ground ball and it passes the infield and no one's there. It's because you have two outfielders in the outfield, but that still counts as a hit. The pitcher needs to figure out what pitch he wants to throw, where he wants to throw it, and if the hitter can swing and miss and strike out, or get on top of it and ground out. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Got one, Dad. Oh. What's your plan of attack? Uh, looking for the down and in pitches, and I'll try to send it out there. Send it out there? Left field, yeah. All right, well, good luck today. Yeah. Woo! Fair ball! <laughs> that down and in pitch. Y'all see me fly and never drop down. Oh. What's your plan of attack? He's uh, he's kind of rocked you a few times. What did he do this time? Just give him some, give him some heat. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a pop fly! And he's gonna put some leather on that for <laughs> second out here. So now, it's my turn. My approach of attack is sea ball, hit ball. Pretty good at contact, so we'll see what happens. Mm. Dead smoke. So coming to hit in the windup, the delivery, the junk. And he gets him reaching! Kyle Hendricks at the pitch. And that's gonna oppo! Was it up the middle? Alright, that's fair. <laughs> oh! Wait, can I grab that? Yes. Well, I didn't know I could have, honestly. You didn't know you could grab it. I definitely would have got it, but I, I didn't want to make a move and be like, you can't touch it. Alright. 1 1. Fastball. Oh, curveball. Rocked deep. Back, back, back. Ah! <laughs> he got it! <laughs> ah. 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 He barely got it. Oh! He caught the breaking ball high and away <laughs> and pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna tip his cat, you're gonna tip your helmet to him? Well, Dan's fast. Mm. I mean, he probably would've caught I'll go back. Dan, you had to climb the wall to get that one? Yeah, dude, that was... <laughs> and that was a... <laughs> it was a motivation I had for 
my other outfielder. He said, Dan, I told you, you got it, you got it, you got it. I said, you know what? And that's the man right there. The catcher's glove, too. The catcher's glove. Hey, good job, dude. That's why they call it a catcher's glove. What you going to do for your batting? What's your plan of attack for batting? I just hit the ball. Hey, see ball, hit ball? That's it, man. Alrighty, well, good luck. What's your approach to get him out? You know, I'm just going to hit him with a bunch of nasty curveballs. Alright. I don't think he's going to be able to screw it up even more. Alright, let's do it. Come on, I need it! Oh! Why did you lead on that curveball? So what's your Ready? approach here? Um, okay, see, so curveball, it's just, it's just not that good, you know? Okay, so yeah. we normally go with the fastball right. and keep it easy, uh -huh. you know? And then if the curveball comes, it's feeling like All right, so well, ready. good luck, good luck, dude. Oh, what a snag, and out. Look at that, it worked. Wow, <laughs> oh, that's a shot. I threw a change up. Oh! Okay, Dan? Yeah. McLovin, what's your approach for this at bat? Honestly, it's gonna make some contact and hurt a little. Yeah, that did look a little nasty. Just, just looking to maybe put some bat on some ball. There you go. Seems to be everyone's approach bat on ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Damn, I missed that. <laughs> but Ruben just snagged it. Take the seat. Oh. You caught it. So you won, how do you feel? You called it too. It's easy. It easy. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, remember to hit the notification button so then you can see when our next videos come up. This is the first video I've done without Marcus. So Marcus, I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you want to see us do another challenge like this with sports, I really want to do another baseball video like this. I love baseball. And if we get more people to like come and play baseball with us, maybe we can get like an entire game going and we can like film that and do something like that. That'd be a lot of fun. Comment below what you guys want to see. If you want to see another challenge like this again, uh, with a different sport with baseball again just comment let us know hit us up on our social media at Andres March vlogs on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next vlog see ya